Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Redmi Note 4. This time we have Alpha Droid ROM based on Android 15. I have reviewed few Android 15 based ROM for this device and none of them working well actually on this device because of the low specs. And in this case also, this is not really a, that good ROM for this device. But if anyone looking for a latest ROM like based on Android 15, then we can go with this ROM too. So as you can see here, the UI is a little bit different than a OSP based ROM and it looks good actually. So if we check about phone and as you can see here, Alpha Droid version 3.2.1 Android 15. So this one is actually proper Android 15 based ROM and we are getting Android security patch of June 1, 2025. And this is an official build. So as you can see here, build status official and you can see other information too here actually. And the UI is actually looking good uh, and setting panel for customization we have alpha settings here this ui looks like windows phone ui so as you can see here like tile like ui looks kind of good so there are tons of customization available you can tweak the ui as you're liking so ui as you can see here tons of thing available status bar qs buttons and for buttons, you can use on skin navigation buttons or soft buttons or both of them together. So up to your liking. Currently, I am using gesture navigation as you can see, working well, no issue at all. Lock screen and other notifications too. In the miscellaneous setting, we are getting game space, import key box, clear key box, unlock higher FPS in games, and also the Google Photos Unlimited storage. Sidebar option is a Bible and I have already turned it on, but it does not really work well. So as you can see here, so kind of useless. Three finger swipe. So if you want to take a screenshot, you, you can do that. And also you can change it up to your liking. Sound. So these are the things you are getting here. So in terms of connectivity, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi working pretty well, but in terms of SIM card or SIM network, there is issue. We are not getting any kind of Bo LTE and Bo Wi-Fi, but the big issue is that now my SIM card is there and I have my another phone. So if I call now to my phone number, so the call is going, but as you can see here, we are not seeing any call here. I don't really know what's going on and I haven't faced this issue with any other ROM. So as you can see, it does not work, it does not respond. Sometimes it does, but most of the time, as you can see here, although the call is going on, but we can't see here. So this is a kind of a big issue here. And that's why this ROM is actually not really recommended for anyone. And call recording is also not a Bible here. Notification, as you can see here, pretty much similar. Sound and vibration working well, no issue at all. So, as you can see here, we do get Dolby Atmos option. Clear speaker option is also a Bible down here. And also, we are getting part of volume control option too. So, that is also a Bible. Modes option is a Bible. Display setting. So, in the display setting, we do get adaptive brightness and it works well, no issue at all. Dark theme. Live display and other things, double tap to walk and double tap to sleep. So, as you can see here, working well, no issue at all. Torch setting is also available and display color calibration is also available. So, almost everything available in this ROM. Wallpaper and style change wallpaper. So, we are not getting any kind of AI wallpaper or emoji workshop, but Obviously, it's going to be bulky and this device can't really handle them well. And we do get few other options here. The more lock screen option, privacy setting is there, a work screen for notification is there, but no AOD. App section is pretty much similar. Storage, as you can see, almost 20 GB free and the UI took around 10 GB. Kind of good for Android 15 based ROM actually. In the system setting, all other functions are available, developer option and other things. Navigation mode, gesture mode, all those things. Accessibility, nothing new here. Security and privacy. We do get both face and fingerprint unlock. One strange thing is that when you install this ROM, 
in the first boot the fingerprint will not work but after restarting the device it will work perfectly fine so if i try now as you can see here fingerprint is working and face unlock is also working pretty well so as you can see pretty fast and works well so in terms of security both of them works well and as Android 15 based ROM we do get private space I have already set it up actually more security and privacy all these things are available in terms of location working well and that's it actually everything you can see here pretty much similar and in terms of camera we do get a camera here which is gcam go maybe and it works well but as you can see here no issue video recording is also going on so camera works well and i have installed gcam too and it is also working so as you can see here a little bit slower side but works well as you can see here now it is kind of laggy so gcam is not really that well optimized for Android 15 and now as you can see here it just closed the application so gcam is not working that well but the built-in camera application works really well we do get Dolby Atmos which is working FM radio also working game space and in terms of Google Photos as I said unlimited storage is available and so as you can see here account storage is unlimited and if we try Magic Editor, we don't really have Magic Editor. And in terms of Play Store, surprisingly, Google Play Protect Certification is a Bible, so you can install any application here. And bank application going to work well, so as you can see here about. And Play Protect Certification is a Bible, so bank application does work well here. Says so CBC. So if I try this application, this one is a bank application of Thailand. There are many of them. But as you can see here, there is no error at all. And it is loading the application. A little bit slower side because kind of bulky for this device. But we are not seeing any kind of error. And it will ask me to put my SIM card actually. Because you can't set up bank application without SIM card and mobile data. You have to use mobile data. So English. yes so as you can see here so bank application is working but some application might not work as we are using custom rom and custom rom is not really that much secure for bank application so better don't use any kind of bank application on your device if you are using custom rom for gaming this is not really a gaming phone anymore and android 15 is pretty heavy you can't really do gaming here obviously offline games do work well here you will not going to face any major issues but the issue i have already talked about mainly the ui is choppier side and it's bulkier for this device and the phone call is kind of junky maybe we have to update the application i did try to update the application but there is no update maybe you have to install google dialer then it will fix the issue but anyway this rom is actually not really recommended and private space as you can see here i can unlock and use private space a little bit slower side as i said but works well as you can see it open private space so everything kind of working well but still not recommended and the ui is as you can see works but not really good so if you want to give this rom a try i will put the rom link in the description below that's all about it Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.